Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna start recording right now. Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us for our weekly connection. Um, I'm sure all of you there are uh, excited about uh, about tonight, like I am. And uh, I want to go go straight into into the conversation of what we wanna what we wanna achieve at least this week or what do we want to connect to? And again, I'm, usually I'm very ambitious, in, you know, in a way of like putting so much it, that it comes, you know, sometimes the, uh, you know, when you start study and then things comes and other things comes and, and then it just become evolved into a, a beautiful understanding. But, but then it's just, you know, you don't know when to stop, right? So I think it's a good problem, but uh, let, let's start. Let's see when, uh, how 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 far can we go? So obviously this week, again, if you if you understood the last couple of weeks, we shared that this is the process of starting a, from Isaac transition into into Jacob. But here, the beginning before we study, before we starting this, is uh, is first of all to understand the. The, the 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 overruling energy over over uh, 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 overriding in a way of everything here is that each one of us have two different communication system right or each one of us again there's in order to get to one or two there's many many in between but there are two frames that each one of us are greatly functioning there or, 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 or poorly function, right? And, and what we want to connect them here is the two aspects of what the Akov, Jacob, opened for us this week. Again, I'm saying this week because most of us think, oh, this wisdom was uh, written uh, thousands of years ago, so it's accurate for thousands of years ago. I can tell you, it's absolutely wrong. You know, it's funny. I just came back uh, from Israel, and over there, I had a chance to, uh, you know, one of the nights. You know, I, I think you you jet lagging. So at night, you know, I opened the TV and uh, watching the, the 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 World Cup, and then in the, and and then after the World Cup, I put a history channel, and in the history channel. You should watch it, actually. Those of you who study Kabbalah, you should watch it, you know. It's a documentary, right? They documented all what they call it the... Uh, I forgot the, the name of the, 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 the show, but Alien. Oh, Alien, they're speaking about aliens, you know, stuff like that. The whole show is about how the wisdom of Kabbalah explain everything in the world. And again, this is like, you know, for us to be in the TV like we wanted for, you know, imagine Rabbi Shimon, you know, all the Kabbalists, you know, thousands of years, you know, published and it was published with few people. Now it's on TV, main TV, you know, and again, they speak about freely scientists and all of that about Rabbi Shimon, about the Kabbalah, about the Zohar, how it explained and all the verses that you guys study here right now. Again, it's amazing that, that today they're speaking freely that we before we needed to be politically correct and be aware and all of that, you know, not to, you know, to say things that are like really outrageous over there. Or you should see it, you know. If you study Kabbalah and you're watching it, you're just like, oh my God, they're missing one point, which we're not going to get into, a, into that right now. But it was, it's just interesting to see after all these years that now, it's clearly and freely and openly. It's all in the wisdom of Kabbalah. It's all they, all they say that. Again, I'm not pleased. It's all renowned, uh, uh, known name. They're speaking about it, you know, and everybody like it because it's philosopher, because of his professors in university. Yeah, we are not legitimate, you know, a guy speaking in the internet who I don't know you, right? The Kabbalah Center, you know, that. We invested millions and millions in research of this wisdom for years, you know, and still investing so much in exposing this wisdom. 
you know. So I see it together. I see that they doing a great work in what we call in the physical world, investigating like, you know, but they don't have that spiritual access, you know, and that which that's what the Kabbalists bring. The Rav always told us, my teacher always told us, you know, when you reveal something spiritual, then it will help those scientists getting to know more or getting to reveal more. So it's really important that we're sharing that and you're listening to it and you invite more people to this. It's really a tremendous help to this world and to all these scientists who want to prove this, this wisdom. For those of us who need those proof, you can watch it. And, and, and understand what you connected to, you know, and, and, and it's really inspiring for others. For us, it's like, wow, finally, finally, right? So anyway, it, it's 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 just just had an experience like that. So I wanted to share it. So the overruling idea of tonight is the idea that we all have two frames, right? Two frames, right? Two levels. What we call Yaakov. Jacob or Israel, Israel. Here in this portion, in this week, Yaakov get access to the level of Israel. Israel is not a place in Israel. Yeah, a place I was there last week, right? That's not the idea. Israel, you can be in Israel, in the land of Israel, and still be in a consciousness of completely disconnected person. Right? So it's not just about the physical location, which we know Israel is the heart of the entire world. The entire world, right? It's it's the uh, you know it's the it's the it's the it's the source of the entire world. Now I can say it freely. The Zohar speaks about it freely. You know, for those of us who don't really understand that, everything that we want to influence in Israel, influencing the entire world. So, what does it mean? Do I need to go there? No. I need to achieve the level of consciousness of Israel, of Israel. What does it mean? Not Israel the land or Israeli people. Don't get me wrong. I'm Israeli and I'm not sure that I want everybody to be on that level, right? But the Israel, let me explain what it means. That's a code, it's a code, right? We know that obviously the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs are infused with the word Israel. Right, so uh, uh, what we know is that these two levels, right? These two frames that we want to operate. Either you operate in the frame of Yaakov, Jacob, right? Which is the lower existence, which means I'm functional. I'm going to work, I'm eating, I'm sleeping, I'm talking, I'm sharing. This is all functional, right? I'm living my life, I'm doing my correction, I'm working on myself. That's great, right? This is beautiful. This is all majority of the people in the world do it, you know, ups and downs. Let's put it this way. But there's a frame of Israel. Israel, again, there's many, many codes, but one of them, which we get gathered from that word Israel is Israel with the light of the creator rests upon you, which means finding you as the resting place of the light. Meaning I wanna be with that person. And everything that they do, I wanna be with that person. That, that the interest of the light of the creator is to be with you, is to rest upon you, is to, is to, you know, to be joining you. The Yaakov, the Jacob, I need to do more and more, more things you know, and begging and asking, and maybe, maybe I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna connect here and there. That's beautiful. But what does it mean? Or how can I activate what we call the frame of Israel? Again, for that, for that, we need to understand a couple of ideas. Again, I'm gonna go soon to the story and see how it's related to our life. But we learn that our Israel, our level of Israel, is a higher level, right? A higher level of who we are. Let's say, for example, this is the you, the lower you, and there's another you who walks parallel to you, right? In the upper world. What do you mean upper world? Somewhere there? No. 
technically, it's an inner war. Again, it's, it's the olama primi, it's the inner of the inner, meaning it's the core of the core. All of us, each one of us, have that ability. You don't have to live in Israel or born in Israel or be Jewish or not. It's a consciousness that we achieve by what? Going higher and higher? No, go deeper and deeper. That's the difference. As the difference is that most of us like looking up. There's nothing up. Oh, looking down, there's nothing down. Obviously, it's not physical. The Israel, the nature of Israel of each one of us is covered with many, many different layers, like an onion layer, right? Layers and layers and layers. Now, how are those layers looking like? Holistically, we call them forms, different forms, right? Now, each one of us adapted to their life through life, through our parents, through, you know, acquaintance, through experiences, through, you know, through challenges, through overcoming, we adapt a new type of behavior, new type of thinking, or an old type of thinking that we cannot get rid of. That's called a form. This is a form of thinking, a form of feeling, a form of behavior. Most of them, most of the behavior, you know, uh, 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 thinking or feeling the same way we're feeling, we adapt it to our life because it serves us. It serves our interests. It serves our agendas, right? It serves some selfish reason for me. So, you know, Throughout the years, we adapt many, many of them. That serves me. It doesn't serve me. I don't want to. Right? Even though we're still keeping a, a certain forms that doesn't really serve us, but we keep it because we don't even know how to get rid of it. Because once you adapt a certain, a certain shape, a certain form, you know, even, even physically, sometimes, you know, uh, when you eat a lot, right? So you gain weight. You gain a new form. Right? And now to get rid of it is not the same way as get, gaining it. Right? To get rid of it is a bit different, a little bit more sacrifice. So, one of the idea in spiritual understanding, in Kabbalistic understanding, is we're talking about similarity of form. Similarity of form is when things are clicked, right? When things click, when you call it click or flow, whatever you call it, there was a similarity, right? There was an attraction of similarity. Now, in order to connect to what we call Israel, again, it's the higher level, but now we understand it's not something up there. It's something deep, deep inside of you that covered with that layers and layers of clothing and layers of forms. And that naturally to be alive in this world. And then when a person is alive and doesn't have a spiritual path, he adding more forms that serving him and his own selfishness. In order to connect to our Israel, right? That is obviously a code that I can, I can share many, many, many things about it. One need to add a new form so it can extract the inner Israel. Or there's two ways. By the way, it's not or, 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 uh, or yes or no. It's both, right? One need to take down some forms and adding new form, okay? It's not just to add. Right? Because sometimes a person is in, uh, you know, let's say, for example, you didn't get, you didn't shower for 10 days. Right? So sometimes it put perfume on that. It's not the best added 
form, right? Even though it smells good or something like that. Oh, I changed my clothes and I put perfume. Yeah, but you, you, you're putting it on something that is dirty. Sometimes you have to take down the dirt and then add form. It will work much better. I hope that's clear it's, and simple. So, you know, we know, again, we're talking about change and change and change. Kabbalistically, change, it means new form. That's what it means. Change is added new form. Let's say, for example, you are a circle. Then you add a triangle on top. The circle never disappeared. You just added a new form called a, a, a triangle. On the triangle, you put a square, right? On top of, uh, around it. You added another square. But it doesn't take away from the circle inside or the triangle inside or around it, right? And you can like that, add many form, a, 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 a trapeze or all of that, right? It doesn't mean that when you're adding form, you're losing the original form. Many people are afraid to lose themselves. If, you know, I'm not going to do spiritual work or spiritual path. Oh, I don't want to lose myself. And everybody's going to be upset. Now I'm studying Kabbalah and now I'm doing this. Now I'm scanning the Zohar. Now I'm praying in the morning. No, it doesn't take, again, if you think it takes away from who you are, you're technically never really connected to who you are. Because if you're connected to who you are, anything that you're adding to yourself it's just an added form, an added layer of communication, and an added layer where the inner Israel can be revealed, can be extracted. So first, I always recommend, and we always recommend, to obviously stop or take down forms, right? Different behavior, different thinking behavior, emotional behavior, all kinds of things like that, that doesn't really get you to be as strong, as powerful as you want to be. So, again, what is really change? We're not really changing. We're just either adding or removing layers that get us closer to the real me, to the me in the truth. That's what it is. So, am I changing? No, I just stop behaving this way. That's it. That's what I need to change. Yeah, stop doing this. But that's not enough. Now what? I need to add something else. It's like when when you uh, when we work with with addictions, right? Addictions, you know, you cannot just cut off the addiction. You need again, depend the the the, 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 the case or how severe is it. You gotta be give a substance, different substance instead of it, right? So you have to give something else. Again, long story short, just removing is not enough. You have to add new form, new form that are formed by you, not by somebody else saying, oh, do this, you know, do this. That's religion. We don't want to do that. We want to study this, understand that, obviously, and increase of our ability to take down or adding, right? That's that's where we are. And that's what happened with Yaakov. Now, what do we learn from Yaakov, from Jacob? The beginning of his process of gaining what we call the level of Israel. Where did it start? It starts for him in the past. In the past. Now, so what? I need to look into the past. Obviously, most of us think that, you know, okay, I'm living in a city. I get burned out from everybody, you know, and and I, I burn myself in other people's eyes. So now I'm going to leave that city. I'm going to move to a different place. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go to uh, another, another country. Start fresh. New people get to know this. Do you think that's going to happen? Okay, go ahead and try. Okay, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to start a new career, new people, new circle of people. Let's say how many times in life you were able to avoid consequences. 
you escaped the the being put in the corner. Okay, you escaped consequences. You avoided, or, or you 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 hide very well. Nobody found you. Wow, it was great. You know, so you think that because you did this, then you know I don't need to to deal with the consequences. And that's wrong. Problems, right, never disappear. Never. Troubles, problems, whatever it is, they never disappear. Oh, I had this huge problem, but somehow it gets solved. I mean, somehow it gets solved, right? It's, it's not solved. It's on suspend until the next station that you're going to come out to, and it's going to wait for you there. There is no escape, my dear. And that's what Yaakov is telling us. Why? If you remember last week, last week and a couple of weeks, he had this argument with his brother. Okay, his brother thinks he's cheating, he cheated, he stole his firstborn, blessings. So now, what happened now? We know that Esau had a great respect to Isaac. And because Isaac was alive, Esau didn't dare to go and chase after his brother. So Yaakov had a good time living next to his brother, next to his brother. His brother never dared to touch him, right? <clears throat> while Isaac, while the father is alive, he wouldn't dare to disrespect his father. But now his father died, and Esau is on the hunt to get him, right? So now Yaakov, Yaakov is escaped. His fleet is now, we, we spoke about it last week, is in Lavan. He's in, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a um, brother in Over there, he met Rachel, he got married. Now we have the, the 10 kids and so forth, so forth. Now, time passed. We're talking about years, years in the doing, 20 years almost, right? Yaakov understood, I can't continue unless I deal with what's happening with my brother. So therefore, Vaishlach Yaakov Malachim Lefanav, Yaakov sending messenger or angels. Now, all of us who study a little bit understand angel is not those uh, flying things or wow, fairy tales and all of that. Angels is consciousness, is compartment of consciousness that you can set. Again, not all of us, Jacob, were able to do that, but we, when we get to the level of Israel, we can start using angelic systems. For now, no, not a lot, but we can still send an intention. We can still awaken consciousness to what happening in the past. First of all, to know, the fact that my brother is chasing to kill me, the problem is not going to disappear. That's what Yaakov tells us. I got to deal with it. Okay, so I escaped. I escaped seven years, another seven years, 10, 20 years I escaped. I already established a family and this and this. What, you're still in that mode after 20 years? You got to go back. He went back. He needed to go back twice, actually, in this, in this story. One is in consciousness, which by Ishlach Yaakov Malachim, and he, and he realized, you know what? I got to deal with that now. The message came, his father died, right? Isaac passed. Therefore, I need to deal with my brother because I know he's going to be on the hunt to, to get me while the father is not alive. So now we know what Yaakov is teaching. us. In order to achieve the level of Israel, he needed do not escape anything of his past. To deal with that, face on. Which means everything that you, you know, what do we learn about, about darkness or about problem? It's not going to disappear by itself or miraculously the creator will alleviate all the problem. No. It's just it's just waiting for you in the in the station until you until you arrive at the station, then they're gonna they're gonna find you. Which means not to be afraid. Any problem, it's a solution. 
any challenge, it's the actual, you know, a, a light. Why? Because it's not about avoiding problems. It's about learning to transform first how I see it. Why is it in my movie? And third is what can I do about myself to transform myself so I can deal with that in a different form? You're adding form and then the problem is not a problem. It's a solution. You're adding form of thinking, form of behavior, form of love, form of energy. The situation is no longer look like a problem, but look like an absolute great idea. Well, he's trying to kill me. No, that situation with Yaakov and Esav became the greatest uh, uh, opportunity for Yaakov. That's when he became Israel. Otherwise, he wouldn't become that, that level. Shimcha lo Yaakov, your name is not going to be Jacob anymore. You're going to be Israel in a completely different level. Okay? So, again, these, these problems, when people think, oh, problem is chasing me, or it comes in third, you know, problems come, uh, you know, in triple, all kind of uh, reasoning. No. They come until you're going to add a new form. You will transform how you, you view it. You will transform, meaning you're adding form that now you can see it in completely different. And that is when you start elevating. Of course, remember, elevating meaning deepening into who you are, which is Israel. What does it mean, adding form? Is a better version of what you see, for example, you know, anger. Anger is a form of communication, right? When you get angry, people are listening to you. When you get upset, people are like, oh, they're upset, you know, let, let's, 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 let's please them, okay? Let's make it easier for them, right? They're upset, oh, no, no, wait, 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 they are so upset, no, let's talk to them, right? Many people using anger as a form of communication of stay away from me, don't talk to me, I'm now in this place, you know, or vice versa, you're using anger to get what you want. It's a form, but it's a very negative form. It's a destruction form, right? But if you can understand that anger, for example, just one thing, anger is the same energy of what? Energy of excitement, energy of passion, energy of love. It's fire. Anger is fire. It's contagious. When somebody angry with you, you become angry with them right away because it's contagious, right? If you can transform your anger into passion, into excitement, into happiness, right? You use the same fire, right? But that's a form of communication. It's a form of 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 uh, of, uh, of, of added form that you can extract Israel from within you. Yeah, the, the, like that has many, many ways, right? Instead of blaming, take responsibility. And many things that we spoke in the classes that you adding that form, now you create room where that Israel can, 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 can shine through you, okay? So now, again, some of us, needed to add a form of being the peacemaker. Not, some people are using pleasing, right? They are pleasing everybody. Oh, how can I, can I make sure you're happy with me? Are you happy with what I've done? Are you happy with my work and all of that? No, think about pleasing can be a use as a very great personality, right? Pleasing personality, not pleasing people. Please, you are the, the 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 humans are pleased with your your communication, right? You can bring peace. You can become a peacemaker, right? Because it's so it's so pleasant to be around you. Again, this is this is what you would like to awaken in this in this way. Because all of these forms are forms of you can use it as form of damages. Form to bring damages or forms to bring the divine, to bring the providence of the light. Now, 
<clears throat> we know that every time, and again, it should be your interest to add, to take down forms. Let's say, for example, if you are a boss of people, right? Or if you uh, a family, you know, you have an extended family or friends, or you're part of the community, you know, you can go around and with your own victimness and blame everybody about it, right? Eventually, it's not a form that people would like to cling to or, or be around all the time, right? So therefore, one of the things that is important to remember, every time you add, you should be your goal to add new form because adding new forms to yourself, it means influence can grow more and more out of it. Every time you're adding form, your influence grows. That's it. In measure that you cannot even see. Then, then you, you have to really understand a little bit more about it, okay? Because one of, one of the things that he says in this parasha, again, the, 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 the big picture in this portion, he speaks about a bit the process of Yaakov, how he dealt with what we call Esau, which represents the negative side. One of the things that, that, that it says, that before meeting Esau, Jacob knew that Esau is a very powerful, if not equivalent to the power of Yaakov, Jacob, right? Not when Yaakov was Israel, before, when he was Jacob. What is the idea? Jacob did great things in his life was connected and also his fathers and his, and his grandfathers, a great, great lineage of people. But when he hear that his brother is on the go to chase him down, to kill him, he never says to the creator, what, what he says to the creator is, katonti mikola chasadim mikola emet. Shera sita imadi and so forth. What does it mean? Jacob, when he hear that, that there is a threat to his life and to his family, he never went to the creator and says, God, all the thing that I'm doing and that's what you reward me with? That's what, that's the payment? That someone is, my own brother wants to kill me? I did what you told me. I pray every day. I do, I give, I help. I listen to these classes. That's what you give me? Jacob never had that. What does he say? I don't even dare, right, to think that what I've done, I can ask credit for what I've done. Just give me a little credit, you know, all the, what I've done, all what I gave, you know, how much money I gave this year. You know, can you just spare me with another deal? Can you spare me with another forgiveness? You know, can you give me some mercy over here? Can you throw a bone over here? Can you give me like a, can you give me a break? Jacob never asked. That's a very important lesson. Most of us, I re rely on what we've done yesterday. And based on that, we assuming or expecting that the Creator will be there for us tomorrow. Katonti mikola chasadim, meaning all what I've done is nothing. I can't even, I can't, it's nothing. I can't ask based on that. I always need to be, I need help. Many people think, that because they are this and that, I don't need help from anybody. Always remember, no matter how high you are, no matter how strong you are, no matter how connected you are today, always be in a state of, I need help. Yeah, but look what I know. Look what I've done. Look, No, 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 not based on that. Today, I'm empty. I need help. I, if you're not having, if you don't have that consciousness of I need help from the light of the creator, technically you're working with your ego. You, you are battling the, the rewards of what you've done and you're rewarding yourself based on, oh, yesterday I gave so much money or I helped that person. Now probably I'm going to get a favor. No. You're going to wipe that. In order to be Israel, is someone that is is a clean slate, is, is absolutely, don't work on yesterday's be benefits. What I've done yesterday, 
No, 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 no. Fresh, new, always in the state of asking for help. It's a very important form to add to yourself and take down the form that you use in, in how many people, in the checking list. Right? Of how many people I helped, and it's on my list, you know? So that's a very important part. What else helped Yaakov become Israel? So Jacob is leaving the house of Lavan, which is the brother in law. And obviously, he had to cross the river. He crossed the river, and then he had to go back to a small Cairns. Actually, it's in the month of, 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 of Sagittarius where we have Hanukkah, the, the miracle with a the, with the, with the, with the can of oil, if you remember, which we're going to speak about as we get closer to Hanukkah. But he had to go back to that small can of oil. Why? Right? That's what he forgot. He went back. Everybody, everybody uh, passed the river. He had to go back, and the nightfall starts. And in the night, right? Somehow he lost his way and he had a battle with the angel of death. That's a very known story. Jacob is wrestling, battling with the angel of death. Now, let me tell you something. It's nothing to do with Yaakov dealing with the, or wrestling with the angel of death. It's us every single day wrestling with the angel of death every single day it's not people reminding you death physical death never occur random it's accumulation in the lifetimes or in this lifetime of many many dying moments if you don't understand that obviously it makes it difficult for you. But if you understand that, what do you mean the dying moment? Let, let me explain to you because there's a constant war, constant war. You wake up in the morning, you have deadly thoughts. What do you mean deadly thoughts? Finite thoughts, thoughts of an end. That's not going to happen. That's, you know, I'm not sure that's going to happen. They're not going to call. Oh, they didn't call. They're done. You know, oh, that's it. They're avoiding me. They don't want to be my friend anymore. Uh, you know, they lying to me. All kind of finite thoughts. Every single one of us, myself, my teacher, everyone have it. It's not, if you're alive in this world, you battling death. Tell me how often you battling uh, 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 Gravity, every single day, right? Try to get up from the chair. Gravity, right? Every single day. So it's nothing special to Yaakov, but what he's teaching you is that the wrestling with the angel of death is not occasion, one moment I defeated death. No, 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 no. no. It's when you overcome. It's when you overcome finite and uh, 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 tragedy, uh, tragic uh, thinking, right? Catastrophe thinking, dramatic thinking. Hey, hey, calm down. Tell yourself, don't let the negative side, we call the angel of death, heals every inspiration you have. Imagine you have inspiration, you come across a friend, he tells you, ah, that's not, that's not exciting. Don't let that, he's not the friend that you don't need to see. Because what happened? You, you have an inspiration of, a, of an idea or business or some kind of thing, and you share it with your with a good friend of yours, and then he's like, ah, putting some some kind of spin on it, which is not really feeling good. What people? What happened to people? They get hurt. It can be my friend telling me this and all of that. You know, this is with a negative spin on it. I don't like it. You know, and so forth. What happened? Next week, you have a new idea. Naturally, naturally, you're not going to use that form of communication with your friends. So slowly, slowly, you're not going to share with that friend because it's always giving you a negative spin, right? Therefore, what happened? You think it's that friend. So I'm avoiding that friend. 
what happened? How people become lonely in life? Slowly, slowly, every individual in their life, they get disappointed with. I'm very disappointed with this group. Disappointed with this, disappointed with this, disappointed. It's not them. It's the angel of death using them to kill your inspiration, to, to give you finite thinking, to, to let you believe in the impossible, not in the possible, to let you live life in a negative way because this is the only thing, there's nothing else, right? The, every time, okay, my friend, thank you for saying that. I'm not giving into it. I'm going to find to create a new form or adding a new form so I can handle it. It's not your friend. It's not your mother. It's not your sister. It's not your teacher. It, it, it's what the negative side want to use them for. Your job, your purpose is to connect to the Israel. So every challenge that comes allows you to extract more of it. If you create a new form, if you create a new ways to see what your friend telling you, wow, I see how the negative side coming through my friend, my, my trusted friend, I'm not going to fall into it. I know my friend have the good heart. I know they have the best uh, 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 desire for my success, right? Therefore, I share with them but I'm not going to fall into it. What is he challenging me? What is the, the angel of death want to kill here, want to destroy here? And when you're not falling into it, right? You're realizing that this is the opportunity. This is your solution, how to create new form. So next level is, how did Yaakov defeat the angel of death? Very simple. Yaakov asked a question. Right? What is the question? <clears throat> what is your name? That's, that's what it is. He asked the angel of death, what is your name? Which on the side, some people, you know, in life, and you know, I had encounter with many different peoples and also a, a younger group of people, that sometimes, they see things. They call it demons. They see things. You know, there's a spirit in the house who come and do things like that. Many, many people feel it. You know, it exists all over there. I always recommend this from that lesson. Ask them who they are. What do you want? Right? If you have a spirit like that, or if you fell into a situation that you are in a, in a, in a negative, uh, you feel negative, or you're afraid from a spirit that around you, ask the name. He says, and, and what is the angel of that? Answer him. Lama zetish alishmi. Why are you asking for my name? And that is how Yaakov, Jacob, capture him and transform the angel of death to immortal, to immortality. I'm sorry, to immortality, meaning became Israel. Israel is consciousness of immortality, consciousness of continuity. Consciousness of rest upon me, the light and peacefulness and calmness, no matter what the challenge is. That's the level of Israel. Let's go back. What does it mean? Why are you asking for my name? Again, I don't have more time to get into all the details of why the name, but, but the idea is, is to ask questions. For example, your friend comes and give a negative ne negative spin ask yourself first of all ask hmm, who told him to say that right who is operating there who is sitting on my friend for that one minute right maybe the whole day your friend is connected but that moment you needed to hear that you needed to get that challenge why? Because the creator intention for you is to connect and activate the Israel within you. But how? If, you, if you're not going to trust your friend, how, if somebody in the street telling you, you're easily avoiding that, right? Easily ah, dismiss them in quickly. But if it's family or your friend, someone close to you, wow, take to heart, meaning the negative side, no, the angel of death, no. 
but also the creator knows that that it was an opportunity for you to add form to not falling into that. Wait a second. Why the, ask questions, right? Few questions, you know, uh, 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 that that it's it's important to understand. Lama, why are you asking for my name? There's a code. The angel of death, which in the negative side, wants you to believe strongly that that doesn't exist. There's only one voice in your head, in your head, not two voices. No, we have two voices. The voice of our soul, the voice of our negative side, when he's been used for the angel of death. Right? It's, again, it's very clear. Want you to avoid knowing that that exists. Not to believe in it. That's why the first idea is. Second idea is, always ask yourself a question like, where does it come from? Does it come from the, from the angel of death trying to heal the spirit? Heal my idea? Heal my, my, my love? Or is, is, is truthfully from the light telling me to wait? But if you don't ask these questions, you're never going to get the answer. If you ask the questions, you pausing, you let the situation evolve by you asking questions and forming a new ways to show you what you need to do. Another question you, you can say, you know, you get an answer or you didn't get an answer. Can I ask yourself, can I wait with my response to this? Can I wait with my reaction to this moment? Right? If you, like, let's say, for example, someone tells you, no, we don't want to, we don't want to invest with you. Ask yourself, can I wait? Can I wait not to respond to that? Or why? You should. Oh, it's done. Never. Can I wait? And you will see. If you cannot wait, you know it's the angel of death. You know, because that's the angel, how it works. Now, boom, sudden death, right? Commit suicide, jump, they jump, you know? That's what many people in 1920, right? Uh, jump, right? That's it, jump. Right? 2008, jump, that's it. I, I can't, no. What do you say? Is it really loss or is it really gain? Right? You have to ask these questions. Otherwise, you let yourself be in a channel of the of the angel of death. Even for a good thing. Someone come and tell you a deal. Wow! Yes! Wait a second. Where did it come from? Sometimes we are so hooked into what we want to happen that when the answer comes, we jump over. It's the angel of death. You know, I have people who jump on deals. And then realize, man, I made a deal with the devil, right? You all had it. But this is what we're learning. If you have a form, what we call form of restriction, right? Before you dismiss those people, before you avoid those friends anymore, wait a second. They were just presenting a situation. Right? I had a conversation with someone. I was in Israel, so I had a meeting. I, I, I always like, if I go, I never go just for one thing. I want to, you know, see and, and, and I had many different meetings. And one of the meetings is a friend that technically I told them something directly. Because, you know, it's been a few years and eventually we, we, we see each other physically and I said, boom. And the person, I saw it in the moment, that was like completely reactive, like and start like really like going into places that is not really the right place to go. But then I, I saw that they're going there and I, because I have experienced a little bit with that, I said, you know what? Please don't say what you wanna say. You know me for so many years, please, don't say what you're about to say. And he quiet. And then slowly, slowly, when he didn't say that, and I explained a little bit more, don't jump. Let me, let me give you more ways to look at that, you know? It's interesting that 
he was able to do because he has some a lot of interaction with me so he knows the the line of thinking and how we doing things so but it was interesting to see how wow he could go completely south right but it went to a different place and hopefully you know again you see it when wait a second if you don't fall into it is an opportunity for you i'm telling you something that can help you not everybody will do it right so again even a good thing i need to check did i earn it am i do i deserve something like that what have i done to gain that and so forth, right so again good or something that goes against your desire please don't fall into it ask few questions before anything and you will see what form you need to add to extract that israel so it can show you in in the divine another thing is what yaakov is teaching us that and that is something i can i can speak forever but but i'm just going to touch upon it because it's a, it's a broader uh, explanation here jacob is the third uh what we call the third column in kabbalah we learn like electricity right like the light bulb light bulb have plus minus and the filament right the the what the 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 coil that bring the light right Abraham represent right column energy, which in the in the force of what he's using we call it force of love. Isaac represent left column, which indication for what we call ira, ira, which means fear or healthy fear. Now again, I'm not talking about the wrong fear. I'm talking about the right fear. There's by basically maybe just one good reason for fear any other reasons are the wrong fears uh all kind of weird fears forget about it it's 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 part of the it's part of the angel of death trying to insert fears into everything and you listen to it like a like a puppet like a, like a, no that's not what we're talking about. jacob represents central color which mean a combination of fear and love now again that's so contradicting right because if you take the minus and you take the plus and you try to connect them together similarly minus wants to receive plus one again i connect them it should work no short circuit why because it's two separate direction beside the idea is that if you don't create what we call a central column balance the two right nothing can work the same thing for us in our life yakov is teaching us to work with those two forces he had a tremendous love to his brother and a tremendous fear right so how can i do it I love him, but I'm afraid of him, right? Many of us, let's say you're in relationship. Hey, you're married, or you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, a partnership, or even in business acquaintance, right? Or even, you know, for example, you someone invested so much money in your company, right? So you love them for their belief in you. Then you're afraid to disappoint them. So every time you're about to do something, you're thinking about fear i'm afraid to hurt my investor for example you're in relationship before you're about to decide something you know you have some level of fear again some level of fear that i'm afraid to hurt my relationship my spouse my my mate right why because i love them so i don't want to hurt them so i'm injecting fear in Again, not of most people who just live in fear doesn't work. Most people who just live in love, just love, just love, eventually they're cheating, 
they have uh, they have uh, problems, they have difficulty. No, you have to have hope and learn to create what we call, and I said many, many times, that uh, uh, optimal place of existence between fear and love. No, I, it's done. I don't want to be afraid in my relationship. No, you should afraid in your relationship, right? Afraid to hurt them. Afraid that that behavior that you're adapting to yourself will damage that relationship, right? B both sides. It's not just one side. But again, it has to be increased. If you just increase the love, and you don't have the ira, the fear. What do you mean the fear? Not, I'm afraid what they're going to leave me. That's not healthy fear. Or I'm afraid what they're going to do to me if, if I'm not going to do it. That's not healthy fear. No. Afraid to be disconnected. You know, Yaakov didn't afraid, did not afraid from Esau. He knew we are equivalent in power, you know. Again, it's a... And the long story short, it's, it's, it's too much, too long right now to get into it. But Yaakov was afraid that if he go and battle with his brother, right, that he loves, he was afraid to be disconnected from the light, right? He was afraid. That fear of this, the only fear that you want to have, that you will be disconnected. That anything that you do, let's say, for example, I'm about to take an action. It says King David was every step was afraid. What does it mean? Every move that we make might be the last move of our connection, Chaz Shalom, God forbid. Because maybe you take the move in the wrong, but if you don't have fear that my step, oh, I'm doing whatever I want. I, it's a free world. I can do whatever I want. I can speak whatever I want. Go ahead, try it. And you see you see the consequences. It's not about not saying. It's not about afraid to do. It's about having healthy fear and tremendous love. These two, these two, it, this is what ignite Israel, right? That Yaakov battling with the angel of death, right? That's, that's it. Again, it's so scary. Right, imagine anybody, I'll tell anybody, you want to deal with the angel of death? No, 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 no. If you have that mechanism, love and fear, nothing can stop it. Meaning, you can be an amazing, again, some people who, who, who work for a company, but hate the company, right? But they're afraid that someone will fire them because they have nothing else right now going on for them, Right? So it's, you, you see that eventually that's not a way that eventually something will great will happen here or inspiring will happen here or even great result will come from that. One need to awaken love, but in the same degree awaken fear. Fear again of being disconnected from, from, from what I got, from what I'm, what I'm exposed to. Afraid to, to remove form of communication with the light, right? This is the idea that we want to awaken for ourselves. And the last thing, again, I want to share with you, there are, you know, in order to attract what we call the level of Israel, there is different, different, and again, I put it in four different categories that conclude some of that. If you want to awaken what we call the level of Israel, there's four different resistance that you want to apply. Again, this is resistance, as I said, these two powers, right? One is don't ever trust your talent and your skills. Meaning, like I told you before, everything I've done, you know, I'm, I trust that all what I've done will be my merit to gain, my soulmate to gain, my, my the business deal and all of that. I'm so certain because all what I've done, don't, you have to resist those things. Because if you really want to gain Israel, the highest level that you can achieve as human being, it's not based on yesterday. 
So don't ever try, I'm talented, I can do. Don't ever trust, resist that, okay? Second thing is, stop worrying about your past, but transform the past meaning. If you have something that hunting you from the past, each one of us, uh, 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 something you've done or misbehavior or, or, or technically you did something, whatever it is, and you're afraid it's going to hunt you. And again, it's hunting you every time you're about to go to sleep or it's hunting you when a situation arises and it's reminding you and your past coming in and you're freaking out and blah, blah, blah. You call it anxiety, you call it this, but it's your past hunting you. What does it mean? If you're not looking into your past, and I want to go back to the beginning, what I said, if you're not looking to your past and the problems and the difficulties and all of that, and learn to add a form to communicate with your past and to realize that Esau want to chase me, it's not going to end after 20 years. I need to deal with it. So I need to find a new form so I can communicate with the angel of death that's hunting me. Right? Remember, that's what it is. I just want to put it there. This is another resistance that you want to, to create. Third, some of you would ask me what's the connection, right? But put, a, put, a, put resistance on your stomach. I know it's difficult, and I'm not asking you to be vegan or vegetarian or, or stop eating this or stop eating that. That's not what I'm saying. You know, I'm not vegan, not vegetarian, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not for uh, uh, animal rights and all of that. That's not what we are doing right now. It's not the conversation. Yes, I am for each one of us. Eat whatever is right for you. Even if you eat garbage, start, reduce, okay, the garbage food that you eat. Eat something and find out how does it make me feel. Makes me feel heavier. Makes me feel, uh, Israel cannot rest upon me. That's what it is. Because the physical body is the vehicle that you're using to draw that. So look into that. Look into whatever you can do with food and how can you resist <clears throat> eating the type of food that makes you be like that food. So if you eat, Let's say, for example, animal or whatever it is that eat garbage. What do you think you're going to become? What do you think you're going to think about? Right? It's very easy. You're eating, right? You become what you're eating. So another resistance that you need to look for into it. And the last thing is, is watch your tongue. Watch your tongue, right? Because life and death, right? It's on the tongue, in your mouth. So if you want to be able to awaken Israel, you don't want to be a, a channel for the angel of death that comes through your words. Words that piercing, words that hurting, words. Again, each word that, let's say, for example, I can speak to people, I can tell them the truth and, and so forth to the degree that they want. But if I just want to say things just to hurt them, just to put them down, just to diminish their spirit, you are a channel for the angel of death and Israel cannot rest with you. So again, this is a few, few ideas that can help us. You know, I can share with you one more thing. One more thing. The Kabbalah says in the Zohar, La Kolmocha Savil da. Not every mind can handle it. What does it mean? Sometimes when you are uh, uh, reaching a situation that pff, I don't understand, realize when you don't understand, or when somebody else you try to explain to them and they don't get it, don't force it. La kol savil da. Not every mind have the capability right now to handle it. Put it there. It takes time for them to create a new form so they can understand it. It happened to me a lot. Sometimes I'm saying things to people or, or situation or even classes that people like only six months later comes up, oh, wow, now I understood. 
because they went through that and now it sits right for them. So never force or never try to convince, right? Somebody else or even yourself, don't force it because they're not capable right now. They don't have the form, right? They ate too much garbage. Their body is drained, whatever it is. Don't try to convince or force or coerce someone to be what and how you think they should. Remember that idea. I send you with this love. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and have a beautiful rest of the week.